Hi, Bubba Ken here. When the Civil War ended, the United States military found itself with a lot of already very much obsolete percussion rifles. One solution was to take the percussion rifles that had been designed for usage with paper cartridges and modify them so they could use the new brass cartridges. One such rifle it's this kind, which is a saddle ring rolling block carbine. Uh, I've already done a video on it, but basically, you put your cartridge in here, flip the lever up, you're ready to fire. And the hammer itself is what blocks the breech from coming back. Uh, let me throw these hearing protectors on. See if I can remember how to shoot this thing. Take your cartridge, slide it in, close the gate, pick it up. And it fires. Cock the hammer, pull it back, remove your cartridge, blow out the smoke. Load your next cartridge, close the, uh, yeah, let's try that again, okay, we got a malfunction here, there we go, like this in there, put that there, And I did hit the target. Except sometimes she exacts it, sometimes she doesn't. I need to work on that. It's an old timey gun. The other paper cartridge weapon is the shops. Shops came in a couple of flavors, 1859, 1863, etc. But they used paper cartridges. By the way, Buffalo Boy makes black makes and sells black powder 5070 cartridges. If you're wondering where to get some, if you don't feel like reloading. With the shops, put the camera on half cock, pull down the lever. Well, it just slides right in. Pretty as you please. Close the latch. The weapon is ready to fire. Bring it back to full cock. Find your fingers. Very tiny sights on these. What I would call... You see that? It definitely registered on the target. Okay, to unload the target, just jumps right out, blow the blast out, drop the new round in, close the breech, cock, we'll lean into it because it does kick. And again. It registered with the target. target moving. And to unload, as before, have got rookie action. The round pops right out. There's sort of a safety here that's this catch. If you slide it forward, the breech won't fall down. It doesn't do anything for the firing mechanism, etc but at least keeps you from chambering around accidentally. How you do that, I don't know. Uh, really, that's best for traveling. I suspect that if this uh, rifle is used a lot, the latch might tend to just drop down a little bit, but putting the catch on would keep that from occurring. This particular rifle is an original rebought by the 40 U.S. military, by Sharps Rifle Company, 
Uh, it was used in the Civil War. It was used in the Indian Wars. And all in all, it's a pretty decent rifle. Hope you enjoyed this presentation.